everybody and welcome to Bakke, your one-stop shop for the hottest hoops in the East Africa region. And if you don't know, now you know. My Bakke is back, y'all, and it's gonna be bigger, better, and fresher than ever before. I hear that the players are off the chains and the action is on fire. That is true. And you know what? There's this massive, massive, and I mean notorious basketball event that goes down in Kampala. I'm talking about hot chicks, mad basketball action, your finest performers throwing down. <laughs> Plus, of course, the wickedest b-ball moves in town. I'm talking Believe about that. Friday night lights hosted by my brother from another mother, Mr. Marcus. Quick Eraser. Check Roll this out. Roll the video. Roll the video. Bake family, how you doing? Welcome to the most epic, the infamous, the biggest event in the basketball sporting calendar in Kampala. My name is Marcus. This is Friday Night Lights. <laughs> For now, season four, sand trap. We're back to come here. Where you at? Where you at? Where, where, where you at? Where you at? It's all about yeah, sports yeah. and entertainment. Stado Yama Jesh, the sniper, the missing a shot, the band, come catch. Kukaka so you know, Kunti and Salent and Nambas a car. When Banati Muyanga, Salachirano Chiramba, to Tabu Satabu, Kukuranga, Ladu, to take a web, Pitanga Pasia, Ivan and Napu, who cut on your Nabu, to take a gaza, got plenty. Saputa put a Maragazari, ten Santi, Katina Tabajani, Kumana Kapulani, Kuachika, Kuka, 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 FNL is uh, simply 10 weeks of playing basketball with uh, 10 teams and 10 teams led by captains who are basketball stars in the league from Uganda and the interesting thing about this whole thing is the fact that the pros, the stars, are able to pick fans and other good players they know who may not necessarily be in the league to come together and play on the same court against each other. And that's the special thing about FNL. Wow, Marcus, as in the FNL is such a huge event in Kampala. It's the biggest, the biggest sporting event this country has. But I mean, what an awesome concept. And you guys better believe will be revisiting the YMCA grounds to show a bit more about the FNL. Yes. However, there is a basketball event that is coming and y'all better watch out now because it just could outshow the FNL. It is the first time in Ugandan basketball that a league has started from university. A university challenge that is well organized, well prepared. This could just rival the FNL. And we'll be showing you what to expect from the new league a little bit later on in the show. But for now, we're going to show you a piece that has been taken from the exact place that we're hanging out on. Here, 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 here. 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 As in with here, where everyone here. is. Now, now. Here. Now. You know, now yes. the very name of this campus strikes fear into the hearts of many a basketball player. You better believe that. You better believe that. Uganda Christian University. Home <laughs> of the <laughs> When you hear UCU, it's the cannon. UCU is the best. It's the best in Uganda. They invest in players, they look for very good talent. We call ourselves the home of basketball. I 
was born in Tanzania. I grew up in Tanzania, but I got my first scholarship in Kenya, Laser Academy. Then after that, I came to Uganda to play professional basketball. On the other side, I was like, you know what? I have to finish. I have to finish school. I got a full scholarship, and this year I'm finishing. I came here basically on books, merits. I, I, I came to study, but a, sem a semester went by. I got into the program, scholarship program. I was, I was given a scholarship here, like full scholarship. They, they offered um, accommodation meals, uh, tuition, all that. Like everything, I, I don't even pay a penny. They have a sports program that takes care of its athletes very well. Everyone who is a university athlete at UCU gets free accommodation, free food. Then they go from there and decide whether you should get a full scholarship in terms of them taking care of your tuition as well. They invest a lot of money in, in sports. When the university is budgeting for everything, the first priority is to look at the sports department. Yeah, first of all, we have three basketball courts, very standard courts. We have good lights. After class, students can come and practice. They can practice till late. And then secondly, they provide training gear, yeah, they facilitate various tournaments we play. So basically, that's motivation enough, really, for the team to do it. Like, uh, I got an opportunity to come to Uganda and play for Uganda Christian University. And uh, one of the things that they, major, they basically do is to, you know, invest in scholarships. And that is one thing most countries lack, basically. So you find year in, year out, you're just playing basketball, but you're not developing as a person. UCU has a very high quality education. It's as good as most other universities you'll get in the region. Besides basketball, there's a very high level of quality in terms of education. So when you're going to UCU as an athlete, you're balancing two. You're getting both a very good quality education that's recognizable anywhere around the world, but also getting a high quality basketball program. And you hear the cannons, you're looking at Desmond, you're looking at, he jumps like crazy, like the best shot blocker, he dunks like stupid. He plays on the national team of Kenya, he's still with us, Martin Okwako. He came here in 2009, played with the Warriors, and then moved to UCU. Sudi Ulanga, I think the greatest shooter Uganda ever had, like the greatest shooter in the league. Um, Sudi Ulanga is one of the captains as well, he's Tanzanian. Uh, we have Cyrus Chiviri, he's a Ugandan player, he's still with us. In the ladies, Francis Nablovi, Flavia Okecho, she's the assistant captain of the national team, Akinyi Lorraine and Brenda Mboni. They've been with UCU basketball since the team started. Uh, currently, the team is led by Purity Odiambo, she's on the Kenyan national team, and Morina Moding, she's on the Ugandan national team. That's, those are the ladies that lead the team now. As UCU, whenever we are going for a game, we just go very hard. It's the reason why we manage to win even big games, because Every time we are going on court, we meet business. The main team, the Cannons, have been in every season they've been in the league, they've been in the playoffs, apart from the season of 2009. And the ladies' team has been in the semi-finals every single season since they started. Um, they have won uh, four championships in seven seasons. The team, since it started, both the men and the ladies have been performing at the high level. Teamwork. We execute well on offense and play good defense, and that's how we beat teams. We are the best in East Africa right now. We are the best nationally. When you walk out there and you mention UCU, it's basketball they look at, it's the basketball they see. One, two, three! Today, being the first episode, I want to introduce you to one of our hottest shooting athletes this country has. I call her Momo. She plays for the Lady Cannons. Let me introduce you to Maureen Amoding.
my name is Amoding Maureen. I play for the UC Lady Cannons. I'm a shooting guard. I started playing basketball in 2002. So I've played basketball for 11 years. The very first accolade I ever got as MVP was really, really exciting. Uh, that was in 2003. I would say the UCU first opening tournament, uh, UCU Open, was also very, very exciting. What drives me is, is my passion to win. I hate losing. So however big the range is, I keep pushing, thinking probably something will happen. What I would so appreciate about basketball is the far it has brought me. It has given me scholarships to study till my master's level. I haven't paid tuition for all my university years. Internationally, I look up to, though he's really old, worn out and all, but Ray Allen, the whole shooting skill he has, it's so, so amazing. He's, I find him a very, very amazing, amazing player. I'm very excited about the uh, prospects of having a university league here because it's the first of its kind and it's needed. We've been announcing this idea of a basketball league because most of our teams were participating in the national league which wasn't very friendly to the students. Uh, for example, some of the matches could be scheduled when they have exams. So we thought it was important for them to, to have a league that is friendly, taking their academics into consideration. All the participating universities are going to get basketball kit. They're going to get two vests and a short, uh, two different colors to enable them to keep changing as they play. I'm very excited because it gives chance to people who are young to participate in the game of basketball. Yeah, first of all, I embrace the, 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 the idea of the university league. One, it gives a mileage to the university, as you see you, a wider mileage, as in, we'll be out there, we'll be on TV, Uganda Christian University, that the university gains in a way. Students will learn, will know, will see the facility, and will know about the institution. For those who do not know, in Uganda and outside Uganda, because Zuku cuts across. Uh, we expect the Zuku League to be interesting. It will be a, uh, it will be a good platform for universities to show that we can also compete at a higher level. Young players who are not who are not easily recognised in the national league can get chance to also showcase their skills and show that basketball can also be played in universities and the grassroots. The league is taking a national outlook. We are trying to reach out to as many universities in the country as we can. Uh, for this year, for the first season, we are targeting 12 universities in the country. The 12 teams are divided in three different conferences in which they'll get to compete amongst themselves and also have a chance to play other teams in the other conferences. I'm also excited by the fact that we have a sponsor on board that will make sure that uh, the basketball is supported, teams will be smart, 
um, they'll have enough balls, they'll have equipment, and that the games will be televised. One of the excitements in this whole thing is uh, we've waited for so long, and it's finally, it's a dream come true. The other reason is uh, why we're excited is uh, we, we get to play the teams we always wanted to play, especially the UCUs, the KIUs, in our own university league. There is over 10 million shillings uh, in rewards for their teams that are going to be excelling. Uh, I will not mention the final reward or the winners because it's still being worked out. But uh, there's over 10 million Uganda shillings to be won. That's for the people who excel. In the, and then we have individual accolades. Uh, we also have uh, scholarships that uh, might be given out to the excelling students. There are benefits coming out of the Zuku uh, partnership with the universities. We will be able to get uh, entertainment because we are getting, uh, in return we are getting decoders, Zuku decoders. The coaches are going to be provided with uh, coaching material, I think, which is very good for us as, as coaches. The group of death would be the Conference A which has uh, UCU, it has Chambogo, it has uh, Ndeje, it has Nkumba, and all these are big universities in terms of uh, basketball teams in the country. There are pretty much good teams in Uganda, universities, and I think the competition is going to be so high, so I guess it's going to be a very, very entertaining league that when it reaches the climax, I think we're going to have very, very good games. We have competitors in the, the University League. Makere is a very good competitor when it comes to the entire University League. I give what you see that uh, it's not going to be easy. If they are to win it, they will feel all bones, they will feel all hardness, and they will feel all baskets, but it will not be an easy game this time. You better get your A game on, because we're really coming for you. We're working so hard. And I think this year in Deja University might be the might be crowned Zuko University League champions. This league will be very interesting. Uh, I won't be surprised if it takes over the National League because even for the National League, most of the followers are university students. So I can see a lot of following. So I expect to see a lot of growth in our players, the young players that we have, and I also expect to see a lot of entertainment and fun in the games. Bigger, bigger, and bigger things, and root from the two, five, six. Absolutely, absolutely. And can you imagine what will happen when the best of Uganda faces up to the best of Kenya? I'm getting a prophecy, I'm getting a prophecy. Ah, I got it. The very best from Kenya, USA, you are going to hammer everybody else, man, from Uganda, wow. Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania. Wow, DNG. Just, just wow. I Ladies and gents, it. that's all we have for you right now on our first episode of Bake. And in the meantime, you can also keep track with us on Twitter at Bake Nation, on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Bake, or on our website, www.zubl.co.ke. That's right. We're coming to your campuses, so keep an eye out for us. As I've said it before, over the next 10 weeks, Uganda is our home, mm -hmm. ZUBL is our passion, mm -hmm. Bake is our religion. Whoa.